So lead code 1828 queries a number of points inside a circle. So you're given an array of points and an array of queries where every query is the center of a circle and its radius. And for each query, you need to re return the number of points given as an input inside of that circle. And if they are on the border, it's still considered inside. So for example, here you have one circle at x2, y3, with radius 1, it's the green circle, and you have three points inside of it. So how can you solve this? I just wanted to show you my cool way to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to map every query to its answer. So we can do that with a map function in JavaScript. And then we can just uh, literally return the result. So this takes care of the querying part of the problem. Now we just need to implement the actual solve function. Or you could also just straight away return this instead of assigning it to a result, whatever. So now how do you implement the solve function? Now obviously you just need to set a counter to zero and then at the end you're going to return it and now you loop through all of the points and add one to the counter if they are inside of the circle. But there's a kind of smart way to do it, which I like. So you just loop through all, the, all of the points and you take their coordinates and then instead of having a quote unquote complicated formula, what you want to do is you want to translate them so that they are now relative to the query center x and center of the circle y coordinates. So yeah, you're taking these coordinates and these are relative to the center of the plane to the coordinates 0, 0. And now you want to translate them so that they are now relative to the query x and the query y. And so that means that now that you have these coordinates relative to these coordinates, all you have to do is just check if they are inside of a circle with radius qr centered at 0, 0. And that's much easier, OK? So this is an intuitive explanation of how to do the formula. So yeah, as I said, you want to translate these so that they are now relative to the query x and y coordinates. And then you just want to check if they are inside of a circle with radius qr centered at 0, 0, because now you have them relative to that. So it's equivalent, right? So yeah, you add 1 to the result if the you just use the Pythagorean theorem to check if the distance to the quote-unquote origin, so our translated origin, uh, yeah, you use the Pythagorean theorem to check if they are inside, if they are at most distant qr to the center, to their new center, right? And that's it. So yeah, I'll submit a solution to show you how it works. And the time complexity here is the number of points times the number of queries. And yeah, it's accepted. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and bye.